Good morning, boys and girls. It's time for our story today. And our story today is titled, The Two Promise Walk. Let's review, make a quick review of what parts we have of the book. We have the front cover, the back cover. On the inside are the pages, that's right. On the front, the big words on the front are the title, very good. And we always have in smaller print somewhere, the name of the author, the person who writes the words, and the illustrator, the person who draws the pictures to match the words. And today our story is called The Two Promise Walk. And the author is Ophelia Dumas Lachman, and it's illustrated by Natalia Vesquez. The Two Promise Walk. Lisita moved close to the window and looked down at her busy street. She was a little girl with black, black hair and a big, big frown on her face. Today, her grandmother was coming to visit. But where was she? She's frowning. She's frowning because she's waiting for her grandmother. She must be very excited to see her grandmother, but her grandmother is not there yet. Soon, a small airport bus stopped in front of their house. Lasita's frown disappeared. She ran to the door. Abuelita Rosa, you're here, she cried. And don't forget your promise. Her grandmother hurried up the steps and hugged her. I won't forget, she said, and remember, you made a promise too. It was hard for Lisita to fall asleep that night with two promises to think about. The first was her grandmother's promise to take her to see her new school. The second was her promise to show Abuelita Rosa where sandwiches were made with little boats of bread. In the morning, Papa went to work in his truck. Mama went to work on her computer. And Lisita and Abuelita Rosa went on their two promise walk. Mom on her computer working from home, just like we're all doing now. And there's Daddy going in the truck, kind of what the trucks are doing now, delivering things to homes and stores. As they left the house, Lisita reached for Abuelita's hand. Because of all the cars, you must hold my hand, she said. They crossed over busy Grant Street on a walking bridge. See that, boys and girls? There's cars underneath. And they're walking over the street because it's too busy to cross. The traffic raced by them as they walked beside small shops. In a restaurant called Tita's Tacos, a woman tapped on the window and smiled. Abuelita smiled back and called, Buenos dias, Tita. Lisita waved. So I see, it looks like a Chinese food store here. I can see noodles and a fortune cookie. Here's the Tita's Tacos. And over here, I see fruits. They must be selling fruits at that stand. Oh, I can guess what they're doing here. Shoe polish smells came from the open door of Mr. Morelli's shoe repair store. A statue of a dog stood at the entrance to Salvador's fruit market. At the street corner, a tall fountain splashed water. Abuelita stopped. Why are we stopping, Abuelita? Lisita asked. Are we lost? No, no, said Abuelita as she looked up at the street sign. We turn here. So she's using the signs to find out where they are and to know where they're going as they walk through their neighborhood. In a few minutes, they came to a red brick building with green grass and a flagpole in front. Her school! Lisita jumped up and down. Soon she would be big enough. So that's the school she's going to go to. It doesn't really look like our school very much. She's not old enough yet to go to school, but we are. Now I want to buy you a gift. Abuelita said, a bread boat sandwich. Let's go find that sandwich shop. 
You'll like it, Abuelita. It has a counter where you choose good things to go in the bread, like pickles and meat. And it has painted flowers on the door. Sandwiches. Closed for repairs. Repairs means that things need to be fixed. But no flower showed on the door of the sandwich shop. Instead, there was a sign that said, closed for repairs. A tear rolled down Lisita's cheek. Now I can't keep my promise, she said. Suddenly, Lisita had an idea. But maybe I can, maybe I can, she said. She tugged at Abuelita's hand. Come on, Abuelita. Hand in hand, they walked back to Tita's Tacos, where Tita, the smiling lady, covered the table with good things to put in their tacos. Lisita held up her well-filled taco. Their boats too, she explained. I see, I see, Abuelita said, as she held up her own well-filled taco. They are boats. We've both kept our promises. Let's eat. Do you see how they're shaped like a boat, boys and girls? Looks like they both were able to keep their promises, and now they're both happy. All right, boys and girls, in a moment, we are going to put this story in the correct sequence or order of how things happened, okay? And there they are going home. Okay, I'm gonna put you on pause for a moment. All right, boys and girls, we're back. We have some pictures from the story, and they're not in the right order. They're all mixed up. I dropped them on the floor. I'm so sorry, and I need you to help me put them in the right order. So let's let's look at what the pictures are showing. I see Lisita and Abuelita walking across the bridge over the street because it was too busy for them to cross. Was that the first thing that happened in the story? Hmm. Let's check the next picture. I see Lisita and Abuelita eating tacos at the taco restaurant. Um, I don't think that was first either. Over here, I see Lisita waving at Abuelita and Abuelita has just arrived from the airport. I see her being dropped off and she has her luggage with her. She must be staying for a little while. She wouldn't bring her luggage if she wasn't staying very long. Um, so I, I don't know, boys and girls, what do you think comes first? Was it this one? Did they go walking first? Mm, I don't think so. Did they eat tacos first? No, I remember that was at the end of the story. Did Abuelita come to visit? I believe that was first. So I'm going to take that one. We always know we start at the star. And I'm going to put it in the first box of our sequencing timeline. Okay, so first they came, Abuelita came for a visit. Then what happened in the middle? What happened next in the story? Did they eat tacos? Did they go for a walk? Ah, they went on a two promise walk, remember? They went to visit Lisita's new school that she's gonna go to next year. And then they were also looking to go um, find the boats, uh, sandwich boats. Then finally, oh, they couldn't find the sandwich boats, but they came up with a better idea. They're gonna go for tacos and had tacos which are also shaped like boats so let's review boys and girls let's say first abuelita came for a visit next they went for a walk a two promise walk and then finally they had tacos at the end of the story first then finally or first next then okay boys and girls um mrs lynn has sent uh, a paper on class dojo uh it's the same exact thing. You can cut them out, the pictures, and put them in the right order for Mrs. Lynn when you're done. Have Mommy and Daddy take a picture of it and send it to me on Class Dojo. Thanks a lot, boys and girls. I'll see you later.